Okay, we've still got the 300 wind mag set up in our test jig here. Uh, obviously in part one of the recoil testing, uh, we've explained how the jig works, so we don't need to go over that again. What we're going to uh, test this time is just some of our sporting type brakes. Um, three of our own and two other uh, competitors brakes. Uh, just as a reference, we've got a Vise type brake to start with, a generic radial drilled uh, type muzzle brake our Quattromax brake, the Tresamax uh, side ported muzzle brake and our Varimax adjustable muzzle brake. Okay, in order to save time um, we'll just show you one shot uh, fired uh, with each of these brakes. We're actually going to fire three or four um, shots to get an average reading. Uh, the jig, uh, obviously as we've explained in part one, is really consistent traveling back six to seven hundred millimeters it's usually within a few millimetres. Uh, we're going to be firing Winchester factory ammo, 150 grain, and we're going to be taking chronograph readings of the velocities after each shot. So uh, without any further delay, let's get into it. Right, and lastly this is our Verimax brake, uh, the adjustable muzzle brake. We're going to fire three shots now with the uh, ports open and then three shots with the ports closed. Okay, so that's just a brief overview of some of our sporting style muzzle brakes that we do. Uh, once again, all these shots fired was factory ammo, Winchester 150 grain, 300 wind mag, and all the results should have been uh, listed on your screen. And the next uh, rifle we're going to fire, uh, test fire, is the Remington 7mm Remington Magnum.